Thank you for visiting the Nebraska City Civil War Veterans Museum. We appreciate the opportunity to show you a part of America's rich heritage. The American Civil War began when the Confederates bombarded Union soldiers at Fort Sumter, South Carolina on April 12, 1861. Thus began four years of battles and skirmishes between the Union and Confederacy, as each argued, fought, and spilled blood over conflicting interests. Though battles lasted even as late as May 13, 1865, at the Battle of Palmito Ranch in Texas, historians conclude the war ended when Confederate General Robert E. Lee surrendered the last major Confederate army to Union General Ulysses S. Grant at Appomattox Courthouse on April 9, 1865. To commemorate their service, Civil War veterans banded together and started several organizations. The largest and most successful was the Grand Army of the Republic, devoted to Union soldiers to promote fraternity, charity, and loyalty. Posts and memorial halls were built throughout America. In Nebraska, 372 towns organized Grand Army of the Republic posts, the first in 1867 in Omaha. The William Baumer Post No. 24 in Nebraska City was mustered July 5, 1883. The post was named for one of Nebraska's native Civil War veterans who immigrated from Prussia. Colonel Baumer commanded the 1st Nebraska Infantry, in which over 200 Nebraska City volunteers served. William Baumer's portrait hangs in the hall. Construction of the hall began in 1894 with significant support from the William Baumer Women's Relief Corps, number 107. The hall was dedicated in March, 1895. It was designed in the Richardsonian Romanesque style by an architectural firm in Omaha of Fisher and Lowry. More than just a meeting place for the Grand Army of the Republic and the Women's Relief Corps, it was a community center. Many groups, both political and social, were allowed to use the building. Youth groups, temperance meetings, and various women's groups met here. Post 24 closed in 1935, when the last local post member, William Balfour, died. The Nebraska Department would not close until 1948, when Nebraska's last Civil War veteran, Michael Bondell died in Beatrice. Even after the post and departments closed, the hall continued to serve the community as a well-used meeting site. In 1991, the Grand Army of the Republic Hall Incorporated, a nonprofit Nebraska corporation, was formed to preserve and restore the building to its original condition. The main room of the building contains memorabilia, and artifacts of the Grand Army of the Republic and Civil War history. We hope you enjoy your visit. If you have any questions, please ask the attendant on duty.